It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this very special Science Bowl match. The two teams you're about to meet have won once previously and today's winner will be the fourth of our semifinalists in this year's middle school competition. A lot is at stake. Great players all. Let's meet them right now. First from Charles Carroll Middle School, say hello to Thavery. She's here on our program today and their great captain Benjamin is here back and Princess welcome to the program as well. They'll be playing against Robert Goddard Montessori with Anne over there. Hey, Anne, good to have you back. Sylvia, veteran here, always a great player. And Caspian is here as well. Here on the Science Bowl, we have six categories of questions. Let's share those with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Five and ten point, relatively easy questions get increasingly more difficult as we head to 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points on the Science Bowl. We never deduct points for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have our fourth semi-finalists. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly before we get started here today. Let's go to that red team. And Benjamin, would you try that buzzer? Looks good, sounds good. Good luck to you, to Thavery and to Princess. And how about Sylvie over there at Robert Goddard? Also seems to be in good working order. Good luck to you, Anne and Caspian. Congratulations, guys, on making it this far in the competition. We started with 16 middle schools, and now we're down to almost the last couple. So you guys have made it through some tough comp competition. All right, we go alphabetically. C before R, so Charles Carroll and Benjamin, let's play that ball, go. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points to start. Hyenas, elephants, and termites are among the species that live in matriarchal societies, meaning that they are headed by whom, Robert Goddard? Um, the females. The females are the ones who rule the roost. Absolutely right. Good. Go green. Uh, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Our paper money is made of linen, and this C-initialed fiber that is usually associated with clothing. Robert Goddard? Cotton. Cotton, yeah, your dollar bills, your tens, your fives, your fifties, all made of linen and cotton. Go. Um, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Multiple choice. If you've got a stiff neck, say from sleeping on an old pillow, it's these vertebrate that are hurting, the cervical, the thoracic, or the sacral. Ben. Cervical. 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 Cervical, that's right. Those are the ones right here in the neck. Good answer. Good. You're on the board. Go. Red. Um, let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. Teams, the only way someone could get lead poisoning from a pencil is by chewing on the painted wood, since the lead in the pencil is this form. Graphite. It is graphite, this form of carbon. Absolutely right. Good, Sylvie. Good answer. Go. Uh, science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Flying squirrels extend the webbing between their hands and feet, while flying snakes flatten their bodies so they can get enough of this force to glide. Air Charles Carroll. Air um, air friction? Not air friction, no. These flying squirrels and these flying snakes, they are using what force to glide from tree to tree? 
uh, lift. Lift is what I want here. Yes, indeed. Good. Good comeback. Go. Nice try, Charles Carroll. Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. A new study, excuse me, to keep us safe from ingesting or in, injecting powerful things into our bodies, the United States established the FDA in 1906. What does the FDA stand for? Charles Carroll. What do you think? Federal Department of Agencies? That's a, that's a very good try. Not quite, not quite. To keep us safe from ingesting or injecting potentially harmful things into our bodies, the U.S. established the FDA in 1906. What is the FDA? The Food and Drug uh, Administration? It is the Food and Drug Administration. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I liked your try as well. Go re uh, green, please. Um, green things for 10. Green for 10 points. Because a late freeze destroyed their blossoms last year, Fruit trees in Georgia didn't produce as many of these P initialed fruits. Robert Goddard. Peaches. Peaches, yes. They're on the state's license plate. Yes, indeed. Good. Go green. Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. Try this at home. Take an enriched cereal like Wheaties. Crush it. Mix it with water. Put it in a plastic bag. Then hold a magnet up to the bag and it will attract any particles of this element that are in the cereal. Robert Goddard. Iron. Iron, yes. Do that and you'll be amazed at all the little pieces of iron that you will attract. You're thinking, I'm eating this? It's like chewing on a nail. Yeah, go green. Um, body systems for 10. Body for 10 points. A person who can give a first-hand account at a trial is known as this kind of witness because they saw what happened. Benjamin. First hand witness? Again? A first hand witness? No, no. A person who can give a first hand account at a trial is known as this kind of witness because they saw what happened. Eyewitness? An eyewitness. Remember, body systems. That's why we we're trying to invoke that there. Uh, go again, please. Green. Zoo pray for 10. Zoo for 10. In the Pixar movie Turning Red, a character named Mel turns into one of these red mammals. Red yeah, panda? A red panda, yes, it looks nothing at all like its black and white similar bear cousin. Yeah, good, go. Um, Dateline science for 10. Four? 10. 10 points. A new study finds that the larger the number of white spots on the wings of this insect, the more solar energy it can absorb, and the easier its 3,000 mile migration from North America to the mountains of Mexico. Um, monarch butterflies? Monarch butterflies, yes indeed, that, that uh, epic flight, that migratory flight, and many of, them, uh, many of them don't make it, but the good news is that the monarch is on its way back. The buzzer has sounded, we've come to the end of the first round, looks like we've taken all, almost all the 10 and 15 point questions. Charles Carroll 65, they're going to get him in the second half here, Robert Goddard up to 175, we'll be back with round two in just one moment. And welcome back to the Science Bowl. Hope you're keeping up with our great players here today as they vie for the chance for a county championship. Yes, indeed. Starting out with 16 middle schools almost at the very end here. Our score is 65 for Charles Carroll, 175 for Robert Goddard. But let's find out about these players. They've been here before. If you've missed meeting them, let's give you the chance now. Let's go to Charles Carroll. And Ben, tell us about Charles Carroll. Who are the VIPs there other than yourselves? Who's your principal? Um, our principal is Mr. Coates. Coates. And who is the coach of your team? Um, Miss Chaudhry. Miss Chaudhry. And, you know, she was here early today with all of you practicing, and I know how much you practice at school, and all that effort is paying off here. Tell me something about Charles Carroll. Uh, I know you told me before about the sports teams here. There. What else do you like about Charles Carroll? Well, I mean, I like how the teachers try to keep everything in order. So, yeah. Yeah. The teachers really set the standard. You know, not only do they have to keep things in order, you have to understand and feel that they empathize. They want you to succeed. You'll do anything for teachers like that. Yeah. What do you want to do someday, Ben? I want to be a marine biologist. Why so? Why? Well, I've always been fascinated with the ocean, so, and being a biologist just sounded cool, so. I thought maybe a marine biologist would be nice. So, and it, it's a it's a cool name, isn't it? A marine biologist, yes. Yeah, so, if you can do good work and be cool at the same time, hey, what else is there? 
All right. And Benjamin, incidentally, is the fourth member of his family to have been on Science Bowl here. So we love that family tradition. Thank you, Ben. Favory, nice to have you here. Why did you want to be on the Science Bowl? Well, I just like competition, and it was just for a little bit of fun. Yeah, I hope you're having some fun. And uh, sometimes it's, it's not as easy to think when the lights are in your eye here, and uh, this guy is reading all these questions so fast, but you're doing a nice job here today. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I just like to read and write. I also like to watch movies. Yeah, yeah. sounds like you're a creative kind of person. And are you looking to the future yet? What do you want to do? I want to become a director. I want to make movies and maybe become a model. Ah, oh, I like that. Yeah, so uh, you have stage presence already, I can see. So those things would be good fits. Princess, nice to have you with us today. Why do you want to be here today? Well, I was just interested in competitive games like this one and just for fun. Yeah, and you know, this is a challenge. And you know, the last time you did this was never. So you know, sometimes by the time it's over, you finally get relaxed and you're, you're comfortable with what happens here. But hopefully you've seen this show a number of times. You know how we, how we work and it's not a, a total shock to you. Uh, are you thinking about the future yet? Um, I'm interested in cybersecurity. Mm, very big this day, yeah. The, the world is a dangerous place and we need more people like that. Uh, Good luck to you in that pursuit. Let's go over to Robert Goddard. Sylvie, nice to have you here. Young lady who's played our game a number of times before, and it shows she's just whip smart over there. How do you know so much about science? Um, well, I read a lot. I read a whole lot. Yeah. And yeah, I just find it interesting. So I like I what you said. About it. Readers do especially well on Science Bowl. And uh, yeah, readers do especially well in life. So you know, you, it's a, a different journey every time you open a new book. Uh, tell us about your school. Who's your principal? Um, Ms. Womack is our principal. Yes, and your coach? Um, Ms. Dupre and also Ms. Powell. Ms. Powell as well, yes indeed. And uh, alternates on your team? Um, well, I, so, okay, sorry. Ida, Eric, and then there's also Lex and Mabel Wonderful. who are not here today. And before we get back into the game, I'll, I'll come back to you, Ben, because I know you have two different alternates now because Princess and Favory are here. And Sylvie, one day, some you hope, what do you hope to do? Um, art and science, probably something related to biology, but I don't know specifically what. That's perfect. That is just perfect. Uh, a great school, Robert Goddard Montessori uh, education over there. And tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? I uh, like to read and, wait, you know, sorry. Oh, yeah. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Anne, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Did, did you say Anne? I thought I did. Okay. You thought you, okay, yeah. yes. I like to read and draw a lot, and like, I do a lot of artistic things, and a bunch of different ways, and I like to listen to music. What, what do you like to read, Anne? Uh, I like fantasy books, mostly. Yeah? And uh, the reason for being on this show? I like science, and... Uh, yeah, you told me that uh, at the dinner table, oftentimes, you just talk science, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's paying off for you here today. You're a wonderful player. Caspian, nice to have you here. Uh, yeah, Benjamin had siblings on the program, and you did as well. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that. So my siblings were Shawford and Snowden. Snowden participated in the elementary science bowl and then uh, Shawford participated as um, an alternate on the team for um, all of his middle school years in science bowl. Wow. And here you are, a third one in your family. We appreciate mm -hmm. that very much. What do you like about the show? Um, I like, well, I mean, I like the science part of it. I like learning new things that I didn't know before, and I kind of like the competitive aspect of it. Absolutely, that, that's just perfect. And you're a competitor yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Um, so I really like running. Like I run track and cross country, and um, I play chess a lot, especially against my siblings. And uh, I also do theater. I really like acting and performing in musicals. Wow. Yeah, you've got stage presence as well. I can see you being successful at that. So some sibling rivalry going on there too. All right, let's get back into the game. 175 for Goddard, 65 for Charles Carroll. Lots of points to give away. Let's go green. Um, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Multiple choice, chameleons are famous for being able to change colors and for their long sticky tongues. And because they have eyes that move separately which means that those reptiles have great what? Per hmm. um, Multiple choice, I was gonna give you some choices. Maybe you can read my mind. Um, paraphilial eyesight? Paraphilial eyesight, no, no. Okay. The choices are 
the chameleons have great peripheral, perceptive, or panoramic vision. Robert Goddard. Peripheral? Panoramic. Okay. Panoramic was the right answer. I think you were trying to say peripheral there, yeah. But uh, thank you, Thavery, because that says you know a lot. But no, panoramic vision, yeah. Peripheral is just side vision. Okay, go again. Green. No. Sylvie, if you can choose. Um, green things for 20 points. Green things for 20 points. While bamboo is the only thing on a panda's menu, koalas will only eat fresh leaves from this E. Robert Goddard. Eucalyptus. The eucalyptus, yes. They smell like cough drops. You know, when you, one of our judges says holding a koala is like smelling Luden's cough drops. Yeah, okay. Go green. Uh, body systems for 20. Body for 20 points. A company called Lim Forge, L I M B F O R G E, makes artificial body parts known by this P initial name, Robert Goddard. Prosthetics. Prosthetics, absolutely right, for people who have lost their limbs. Good, go. Zoo prayed for 20 points. Zoo for 20 points. Visual question, look at the monitor in the studio, please. This African hornbill can hold up its large beak because the top two vertebrae in its neck are fused together. One of the vertebrae is called the axis. The other is named for what mythical strongman who hold the, held the world up on his shoulders, Ben? What you got? Archimedes? Not Archimedes, no, the biblical strongman who held the world up on his shoulders, the name of that other vertebrae that is fused with the axis, Sylvie. Atlas? The Atlas vertebrae, yeah. And we humans have the exact same ones, yeah. Good teamwork over there. Go green. Uh, let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points, all right. Liquid magma that moves up from the center of the earth toward the crust. Moves with the same, is an example of the same process that causes hot water or hot air to rise and then sink. What is that process called? Come on, Charles Carroll. Um, the water cycle? Not the water cycle, no. The magma that moves up from the center of the earth toward the crust huh? through what same process that causes hot air or water to rise up and then sink back down? Um, Kasten is gonna say it. Uh, air depressurization? Or not, no. not quite, convection. It's convection. Convection was the right. Good try. No points. Go again green. Uh, science potpourri for 20 points. 20 in the potpourri category. Instead of air conditioning, people who live in Singapore in Southeast Asia, where it is very hot, fill C initial tubes in their walls with ice water. The tubes have what same name as the smallest of your blood vessels. Um, Robert and Goddard. Uh, capillary? Or? Capillaries, capillary? they call them yeah, capillary, capillary tubes. Capillary. Absolutely right, yes. A novel way of air conditioning their homes. Good answer, go, green. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. The Anacostia River, long heavily polluted, is about to open up again for swimming. They will finally give the thumbs up, depending on the amount of this bacterium found in human waste that is present in the river. Charles Kelk, can you name that bacterium in human waste? Found in the Anacostia River, but if it drops low enough, they're going to open it up to swimming. Any idea there? No. How about you, Robert Goddard? E. coli? It is E. coli, absolutely right. Yeah, Ann says, I knew that one. I knew that one. Go again, green. Um, green things for 25 points. Green for 25. The Appalachian Mountains flame azalea flower, beautiful, is pollinated by the wings of butterflies that transfer the pollen from the anthers onto these S initial parts of the flower. Robert Goddard. Stamen? Stamen. Not stamen, oh. not stamen. This S initial part of the flower, the pollen from the anther dusted by these butterfly wings onto this S initial part of the flower. Come on, guys. Stem? Ooh, stigma, stigma. That's the female part of the flower. All right, no points. Nice try there, go again, green. Uh, zoo, pr zoo parade for 25 points. Big one in the zoo parade category. Teams, sharks, like all cartilaginous fish, will sink if they don't keep moving since they lack one of these B initial organs to keep them afloat. Charles Carroll. 
What was on your mind? Goddard, do you have any idea? This B initialed organ that keeps cartilaginous fish answer. afloat. Uh, they will sink if they don't, if they stop moving. Um, I'm not letting in to say it. Bladder, the swim bladder. Absolutely, it is the bladder. Yeah. Good, 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 good. You're a little shy about offering these answers, but you're correct. Go again. Uh, body systems for 25. Body for 25 points. All right. Two part answer a pediatric cardiologist. A pediatric cardi cardiologist specializes in, is in treating whom for what? Children for heart um, related? That's right. Yes. Pediatrics is the child part and cardiology are heart issues. Absolutely right. You parse that very nicely. Go. Uh, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri, 20 points. Uh, I believe we use that. 25. 25, all right. Uh, teams, uh, the weakening that can happen to many metals and materials, like the metals in an airplane wing, that weak weakening is defined by this F initialed word, which can also mean being very tired. Fatigue. Fatigue, that's it. Yeah, you got yourself 25. Go, Charles Carroll. Um, Dateline science for 25. That's the way to do it, Ben. 25 points. All right, here's a visual question. 25 points in Dateline. All right. Henry Bates, an English scientist studying butterflies, noted that the Viceroy butterfly, you're looking at it right now, which is very tasty to predators, evolved to look almost exactly like monarchs, which taste awful. Bates called this strategy by what M initialed name? Robert Goddard. Um, mimicry? Mimicry, absolutely right. It is mimicking that other insect. Good, go. Let's get physical for 25 points. Physical for 25 points. Big one in that category. Newton's first law of motion states that a body at rest wants to stay at rest. A condition known by this I initialed word. Inertia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, Ben. Um, green things for five? Green things for five points. The urushiol oil in this three leaf plant protects it from insect invaders. But don't get it on your skin or you'll soon be itching from a nasty rash. Apocalypse? Say it. Apocalypse? No, no. Uh, the Urushio oil in this three leafed plant. Oh, poison ivy. Poison ivy, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, I thought that one was kind of a no brainer. I think you were probably thinking about that. Go again, Green. Uh, zoo parade for five. <laughs> zoo for five. People who don't want to deal with a problem, don't bother me, are often linked to this largest of the world's birds known for putting its head in the sand. Princess just told you. Ostrich. Ostrich, that's right. Thank you, Princess. Go red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. If you haven't ridden a bicycle in years, you can get back on without relearning how to balance because it said these, yes. Muscle memory? Yes, indeed. That's what I want. Good go. Um, let's get physical for five. Physical for five. Peter Pan famously lost this. The image, yes. His shadow? His shadow, yes. Image created when one body obscures the sun. Go green. Uh, Two questions left. for five. Which? And potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Question is as follows. Be South Texas is becoming more tropical because of climate change, which has led more mosquitoes to carry this M initial disease. Malaria. Malaria it is. And the buzzer says that brings us to the end of the game with just one question left. And it looks like Robert Goddard is going on to the semifinals. We'll be back in just a moment. And welcome back, everybody. Well, it was a hard fought game here. And as you notice, very few questions missed. And all of our players today brought so much pride to their schools and indeed to Prince George's County Public Schools. They are just the best of the best. And we're proud of each and every one of them. Our final tally today is Charles Carroll 130. Robert Goddard Montessori, 360. What a score you racked up today. Anne and Sylvie and Caspian, what a great job here. And let's give a nice round of applause to that team. <laughs> Virtuoso performing here today. Sylvie, who's behind you there? Um, this is Ida, and this is Eric, and this is Mr. Prey. Absolutely coach. right. So we will see you guys against Kettering in the semifinals and the finals. And Charles Carroll, let's give another round of applause here.
Fabry and Princess came out. They were alternates before, had a great chance to play the game, and we're so glad you were here. Ben, you are amazing. You're the man, you know, and that family tradition lives on. Would you tell us who's back there? Um, this is Brenda, and this is Snyder. This is Lillian, and our team captain, Nishat. Absolutely. I want to see some smiles on your faces, too. Nice round of applause for everybody. A tremendous game on Science Bowl today. We will see you next time for the first of the semifinals. Until then, I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye, everybody.